Welcome to my channel where I try to break down accounting and tax topics to help small business owners, taxpayers, or anyone else who's just genuinely curious. If you can't file your taxes, just file an extension. Most people that I've come across think that it's just that simple. Like you can just file an extension and pay Uncle Sam when you want. Unfortunately, that's not the case. The most important thing that you should get out of today's video is that an extension to file your taxes is not, I repeat, is not an extension to pay what you owe. So if you find out that you do owe taxes, your best bet is to pay what you can before the filing deadline to limit penalties and interest. So I'm going to show you how to do this in TurboTax. Now you can file your taxes another way when you ultimately end up filing, but I just wanted to use this to show you for presentation purposes. So either log in or create an account number in TurboTax, and I've already done that. Um, I'll, you'll take you to this screen here. And so today we're going to go down to file extension, or if you're already inside of your taxes, depending on what screen you are, you may be at this screen. What you would do is you would go down to tax tools. You'll go down to tools and then you'd be looking for file and extension. And then it's letting us know that we're about to file extension and yes, we do. So if you can't finish your return by April 18th, 2022, normally that's April 15th, but in 2022, we have a couple of extra days. This extension gives you more time to file. So what that basically allows you to do is maybe you need more research or you're looking for additional tax documents. This gives you an extension to actually file your taxes. Again, as we stated earlier, an extension only extends your time to file. There is no extension for paying taxes that you owe. So if you do owe taxes, you want to make sure that you can pay as much as you can or pay it in full by April 18th, 2022 for this year. In other years, more than likely that would be April 15th. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue. So now it's going to ask me a couple of quick questions. Am I serving in the military, which I am not? And was I living outside the US, which I am not? So now it's going to ask for personal info. So we'll go ahead and give them a number. Um, and then we're born in 1975 and we are not married. We are single. So now you will go ahead and enter your mailing address. And then let's go ahead and say we live in Las Vegas. Let's put that in Nevada and let's give it 88901. And let's go ahead and give us a phone number. Okay. So now it's going to ask you for information about your taxes. So this is saying your estimated 2021 federal tax liability from form 1040. So you would get this number if you've already kind of started filling out your taxes and you kind of have a rough idea of what your total tax liability is going to be. If you don't have that number, you're going to have to estimate it, but let's just go ahead and put in it. We say that our tax liability would be $2,500. So now it's going to ask how much taxes you've paid. This could be from your W-2s, from withholdings, if you had withholdings on your 1099s, or if you've paid estimated quarterly taxes. So in this case, let's go ahead and say that we paid $2,300. So we actually do owe a little bit to Uncle Sam, and I'll show you an example of not owing Uncle Sam as well. So now it's giving us a couple of different options and we don't want any of these. So we'll go ahead and skip these for now. And so it's asking, how do you want to pay your taxes? And again, the, the key here is paying by April 18th, 2022 to avoid interest and penalties. You can either have this direct debited from your account. You can send them a check or money order, or you can pay it on the IRS website. Just know that if you do pay it directly on the IRS website via a credit card, there is a fee associated with that. So I will go ahead and say that we will do a check or money order. So now it's saying we've elected to pay by check and money order, and then we're going to pay it by April 18th, which is fine. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. So it's reviewing our personal information. Go ahead and hit continue. So we can create a five digit signature. So we'll just create something and then confirm that we're not a robot. And then you'll hit transmit extension. So in this case, you'd have to have your return completed by October 17th of this year. We're not going to go ahead and submit the extension. I wanted to show you an example where we would actually be getting a refund and what notices you would get there. So in this case, instead of saying 2,300, let's say we had withholdings of $3,000. It's letting us know, great news, you don't owe any taxes, but filing an extension may still be a good idea. So I still would recommend, even if you're getting a refund, to go ahead and file extensions, just to let the IRS know that you're on top of your game. And so you would say, continue with your taxes. And then we would continue and complete those same options that we did before. And we'll go ahead and continue. Again, you'd create your five digit pin and you would go ahead and transmit your extension. So we're not gonna do that now again, cause I don't wanna mess anything up with the IRS, but just know that's how it's done. 